Hi, this is James Gill, and today I'm going to introduce a new piece of software called Snagit. Snagit allows me to capture content from my screen, such as images from websites or parts of documents. I can also use Snagit to make screencast videos or capture formatted text. Let's do a quick demo of some of Snagit's image capture capabilities. So I have this website, and it's describing information about the oldest living organism on Earth, the bristlecone pine. So I'm going to capture some of this info in the picture, and I'm going to use it in my class on a document that I'm just going to give out to my students. So I just size up the section of the, doc of the web page that I want, click on Snagit, I'm going to click on Image, and then click on Capture. I get a set of crosshairs. I then drag out a selection area, and that should be good. Let go, and it opens in Snagit Editor. So this is a little large. I'm going to go under image and the first thing I'm going to do is go image, resize, resize image. It's a little too large for the document. Uh, I'm going to click on percent and resize it down to 75 percent and hit OK. Now I'm going to do some nice effects. I could add a border to make it sort of separate from other things on the document. I could add some cool effects like a shadow in the Oh, bottom right hand corner for instance. I can also make it look like it was torn out of a magazine by choosing torn edge options. And it even allows me to play with the size of the tear mark. I can make it coarser or finer. I think size 4 is just perfect. And now I hit OK. Now it's time for me to highlight some of the really important information in this article. So I'm going to use Spotlight and Magnify. So I click on Spotlight and Magnify and I drag out a section here. And then I click on Spotlight and Magnify. And it magnifies it by 118%, just dims everything around and blurs everything behind it. And I could ch change the percentage, but I think this is just perfect. There we go. And now it's time to add some callouts so my students know what to look at. So I click on this arrow-shaped callout and I'm going to drag from the tail of the arrow to the head of the arrow. There we go. And just start typing. It says that they live for more than 40 centuries, so I put down 40 centuries, question mark. How many years is that? And I just need to make it a little bit bigger there. And then grab the, uh, grab the four-way arrows and move it up a little and grab the rotate handle, the green dot there, rotate it, four-way arrows and move it over just a little more and that's perfect. I see another example where I might want to use a call out, so I'm going to just make it over here. And I think I'm going to change the fill color. I'm going to choose this one to be this kind of semi light red color. And I think I'll start saying it's 1500 years older than the oldest giant sequoia. So I'm going to say 1,500 years, and I'm going to use Control U to underline this next word, older, question mark, and then Control U off, so it's not underlining anymore. How old is the oldest giant sequoia? And then grab the rotate handle, this green dot again. Sort of get the rotation I want right there. And I think I'll just leave the arrow right there, click off. And there it is. Now I'm ready to copy it to my document. So I click Copy All. And then I go into a Microsoft Word document, or any other kind of document you'd like. And then hit Control V, or just click on Paste. And there you have it. But what if teachers weren't the only ones using Snagit? How could students use it to show what they know in a new or a different way? Our district purchased a district license that allows us to install Snagit on all district-owned computers. So if you don't have Snagit already installed on your district machine, please just send in a service desk request and a technician will be dispatched to come install it right away. I'm James Gill and please tune in for more interesting videos from the TLI resource site.